In 2017, the United States immigration system granted asylum to more than 26,000 people, the highest number since 2012. But this is nothing compared to the number of asylum claims which have been made by migrants in recent years. That number has skyrocketed, increasing by almost 1,800% since 2010 alone. The result? A backlog of over 1 million cases, including a rapidly rising number of asylum ones, and an immigration system that is completely and utterly overwhelmed. Asylum is the process by which the United States offers protection to individuals who have a credible fear of suffering persecution on the basis of race, religion, nationality, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion in their own country. It is not a free pass to enter the United States, but that is exactly how it is being used today. In Tijuana, Mexico, hundreds of migrants gathered at the border. And the numbers they have right now, they're not kidding, they are overwhelmed. I mean, these are stunning yeah. amount, stunning numbers. They are part of the surge in asylum seekers. Last month, border agents say more than 100,000 people crossed into the country, some illegally. Within the last six years, over one million people have come into the U.S., either as an unaccompanied child or as part of an alleged family unit claiming asylum. Due to limited detention space and laws which prohibit minors from being held in detention, most asylum seekers are released into the U.S. while they await their asylum hearings. But the truth is, most of those making claims at the border do not qualify for asylum. In fact, only 12% of cases are approved by immigration judges upon review. But they're coming anyway, often passing through several other safe countries on the way to get here. The question is, why? Well, according to the Department of Homeland Security, many asylum seekers fail to show up for their follow-up hearings. One program for family units specifically even had a 90% no-show rate. Out of those 7,000 cases, 90 received final orders of removal in absentia, 90%. 90% did not show up? Correct. Thanks to the backlog, some of them have already been in the country waiting for years. Now, they have simply disappeared. As a result, only 12,000, about 1.5%, of these family units have been removed. That means that skipping the legal process and making a false asylum claim gives some aliens a roughly 98.5% chance of staying in the United States illegally. With a loophole that big, it's no wonder there is a crisis at the border. The U.S. is sending a signal all around the world. As long as you can get here and make an asylum claim, you can almost certainly stay. America's borders are out of control, and asylum abuse is creating chaos in our immigration system. It is time for Congress to act. They must close the asylum loophole and restore the integrity of our immigration laws. To learn more about the costs and consequences of U.S. immigration policy, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit fairus.org.